What's going on, DraftKings addicts? This is your boy coming back at you with my top picks for Tuesday's main DraftKings MLB slate, guys. All right, guys. So today we got a huge 12-game slate, guys, coming up in the main slate. All right, so there's going to be a lot of options, guys. We got some some juicy matchups, man, some nice pitches in some nice spots, man. Tomorrow's going to be live, guys. All right, so... All right, on the screen is Draft Dashboard, guys. This is my software that I use to um, do my MLB research. What I like about it is it put, puts a lot of information right here in front of you guys. So we're looking at the position optimizer where you can go in here and click on a certain position. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's say, outfielder. Let's go with that one because that one has a lot of options, right? And you just go in here and you uh, sort it by the dash rank and it'll give you the top plays. And so one of the plays that I'm on today is going to be this guy here, Justin Upton. All right, at 4.3K, he has a 1.15 OPS versus lefties. And guess what? Martinez is giving up, I mean, Martin Perez is giving up a 0.89 OPS versus the righties, which is what Upton is, guys. So if you look at Upton, guys, he had a 21 and 28 game here a couple games ago, so I like him in the bounce back spot here. But uh, all right, this is Draft Dashboard, guys. There's a link in the description. That will um, give you a seven-day trial for $1. All right, guys. So just a quick seven-day trial. Try it out. See if you like it. See how it builds your lineups. And if you like it, you keep it. If you hate it, you cancel it. And you only pay $1. All right, guys. So let's get into my top plays for the day, guys. So here you go. They're on the screen, guys. We're going to go fast and heavy, guys. Because, um, you know, the lineups don't come out until tomorrow anyway, guys. So some players may be out. You know, some of the plays that I pick sometimes be out because they, they're move, removed from the lineup. But let's just go ahead and get to it, guys. So I like Patrick Corbin, guys. Again, if you watch the game today, Godley put up some nice numbers versus uh, the same San Francisco team. And if you look at Patrick Corbin, he shut out the uh, L.A. Dodgers, guys, which is a similar team as far as the handedness goes when it comes to Arizona. They're a team of mostly, um, I think it's right-handed, left-handed pitchers. Let's see. Let's go back to the pitchers and go to Corbin. And you see right here, it says that San Francisco has uh, six righties and three lefties. All right. So L.A. Dodgers are the same way. They have mostly righties. All right. And he shut them down. All right. So I like Patrick Corbin in this spot. Again, playing in the late game. So I'd like him to come in and bring you up that cash line, guys. So I like Patrick Corbin, guys. All right, so when it comes to the other pitcher, guys, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to pick your uh, your top pitcher or your SP1. But, uh, of course, you know, Chris Sale is always uh, a player that you may want to, you know, consider given his uh, salary is because of his uh, K upside, guys. All right, he's playing against New York. And, you know, New York has a new team with all the, the firepower behind him, right? So, hey, if you're feeling lucky, you know, you got a lefty. Can you sell a lefty? Yeah, he's a lefty. All right, going up against a uh, judge and, and Stanton. All right, so. But I'm so over him, it ain't even funny. But, um, okay, on to the next one, guys. So, uh, DeGrom is in a good spot versus Miami. All right. With the hair flipping and stuff, you know. As you can see, against Washington, he put up 21 DraftKings points. Had 5Ks. Against St. Louis, he had 25.8. And again, he put up 7Ks. About six to five in his pitch. All right. All right. So um I like DeGrom in this spot. Again, he's in a in a plus matchup, guys. All right. But that's some of the pitchers that I like, guys. So all right. So on to the batters, guys. Cabrera. All right. I like this guy here at because it's price tag. Again, I'm trying to play around in my bats because I'm gonna pay up for my pitchers, guys. So Cabrera, if you look at him, he has played one game with this against this team and hit him once. All right. But if you look at his game log, he has a little bit of upside. So, I like Cabrera uh, in his matchup versus uh, the pitcher. All right, he has a nice nice little Woba versus him. So, that's the second base. So, if we go in here to the draft dashboard, go to second base. All right, you see a Cabrera right here, guys. All right, he has a uh, .943 OPS versus lefties, guys. So, it means he's in a plus matchup, guys. And again, like I said, I like him to put up, you know, nice points. As you can see, he has a little bit of upside. All right. So, Cabrera, put him on your map, guys. 
All right, next up is Beltray. I like Beltray in the bounce back spot. This guy's on the 3.2K, guys. But, um, you know, he does a lot of the, the peripherals, you know what I'm saying? Uh, two base hits, you know, maybe get you, uh, you know, RBI or two. But uh, I like Beltray in this spot versus the Los Angeles Angels, guys. And, again, if you look at the splits versus it, they played once. All right, he had four at bats. He had a hit. All right. So, um, I like his chances to put up about about eight to ten DraftKings points, guys. But again, at three point two k, you know, he really not asked for much. But I like Beltray. Again, this guy had a, had a monster year last year. All right, now this Goodwin guy, he's strictly a BVP play guy. So if you don't believe in BP BVP, don't play him. All right, but this guy versus the pitcher that he's that he's uh, facing, he has a pretty nice BVP. BVP. And so um, he's batting in six spot, I believe. And where are we at? Washington. Yeah, I believe he's batting in the six hole. So, all right. So that means he's batting a little bit higher up the order. So, you know, he may have a chance for a couple extra uh, swings at the ball, guys. So I like him in this matchup. Yeah, all right. Well, maybe he's not even playing tomorrow. All right, well, if this guy's in the lineup tomorrow, guys, because these are projected lineups, I like Goodwin because it's BVP. All right, and then Justin Upton, guys, you know, again, this guy has some crazy uh, upside, guys. You see he has three home runs on the year. All right, so he has a couple of games of 20-plus versus Oakland. All right, so this last game versus Texas. All right, these guys put up eight runs, man. All right, he didn't get he stuck out, struck out three times. All right, and probably uh, ground it out or something like that or fly it out a couple of times But because uh, you see he had five at-bats. But I like his chance in this uh, this spot versus the pitcher that he's facing, guys, because right, he has a plus matchup when it comes to his uh, his uh, OB, OPS, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to go back to outfielder and uh, give it a second. Come on now. Don't start acting up on me, Internet. All right, here got my butt up them right up top. Like I said, we talked about him at the beginning, guys. A plus 54% uh, advantage, all right, versus his pitcher, guys. As you can see, the numbers on the screen. A 1.15 OPS. All right, so I like Upton, 4.3K. Again, he has some upside, guys. Look at that, 21, 28, 15. All right, so I like him in this spot. So that's my top plays at the moment, guys. Now, like I said, that, that can change uh, depending on how the uh, – the lineups shake out tomorrow when they come out, guys. But, you know, I'm doing this video the night before, guys. But remember, MLB is a very high variance sport, guys. You know, if you look at last night, how the Arenado do. Didn't do too well, right? And he was in a good spot. Same thing with Harper, right? They walked him all four times. They decided just to throw around him, guys. That happens. That's MLB, guys. But, you know, that's why it's, 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 it's good to uh, lock down your pitchers, get your pitchers right. And uh, if you have a bat, a batter or two that put up a dud, you know, you'll be okay. All right, but good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. 12 games. You got a lot of options to look at, guys. I would find the Shelly candidate and focus on them. The Shelly candidate is the uh, pitcher that's going to give up all the hits. All right. The home runs is going to give up six, seven runs, five RBIs, whatever the case may be, guys. So, all right, good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys, and I'll holler at you guys on the next video.